Keep it straight up and down, but you're looking at it, and she's like this, you know. So suddenly, maybe there'll be parts of, of that pose kind of creeping their way in, into your drawing. So, this is a good point at the time to decide how you want to do it. If you, if you change the angle, you're going to have to kind of start again. If you're going to stay where you're at, you know, straight up and down, then just remember that. Yeah, I'm straight up and down, but she's tilted a little bit. So, you know, gotta be careful on that trench. You know, you're in charge of your girl. You're not letting the law or circumstances take control, and you just, you know, all of a sudden you feel like. That looks good, Cheryl. But, you know, so, and this is a good time to decide what you want to do. Either stick with this, but know that you, you're going to have to translate back and forth. Yeah, yeah, that's got to, you got to drop that down the back a little bit. Yeah. Because the jump, the value shifts are just too strong mm -hmm. from one to the other. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this part of the, of the drawing, the rendering part, really is lengthy because it's a lot of nitpicking. Mm -hmm. You know, going back and, you know, fine-tuning here and fine-tuning there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, everything's based on everything else. You know, so that the whole, the whole, the whole form has to hold together as a unit, and so all the values you've put down have to be in the proper relationship for that to happen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. I mean, we know hair is linear. You know, and it's made up. Of all these little funny strands. But we want to, you know, not do, try to make any, any kind of indication that way until we get the architecture of the hair built up first. Because it's, the hair is like clothing that fits over the skull of the head. And it has to adhere to the light and shadow the same way that the head does. You put that in, and then Discreetly in a certain area, you go in and you make it more individualized, like more single hair, and then the whole thing will read like hair. Pretty more evident. You got the shadow edge, which is kind of hard to see. Try to make it here. Uh -huh. And you got this reddish patch. It's right there. You got a plane going this way, and then a plane going that way. So you got shadow, you got a reddish half tone on this oblique. And then you've got a frontal plane right here. And you see a shift in, va in value and shift in temperature from there to there? Yeah. Okay. Then it shifts again because it's the other side of the <clears throat> under forehead. And again, the, it becomes, you know, warmer in, in tone. And then the, 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 what's called the keystone wedge is this you know, there's a little triangle here between the eyebrows. And and that, again, is a shift in value from this up here, as well as the shift in temperature. Okay. So, you're looking, you're looking for those, those things, because that's gonna tell you how and what, what to do with the paint. Okay. Okay. So let's, you know, let's, Fix some of that. See now here you've got a cool and then more of a half tone. And it's actually lighter than that. So let's you know get the paper towel here. And 
can see this this shadow side and the half tone are very if I squint down, these things kind of blend together. That same that they're they're almost the same value. Okay. So you gotta make you gotta make it if this is your shadow here, you gotta make that a tiny bit lighter and, and, a, and a tiny bit warmer. They are actually they vary with darkness when they when the, they vary on on the on the topography of her head. Here on the inside portion, that first part there from the bridge of the nose out this way is the darkest area. Then they lighten up a little bit as they come that way. So always always be thinking that every time uh, a form changes its relationship or a form cha yeah, changes its relationship to the light, it changes its value. And since we've got a form here that's constantly changing, you're not going to have something that stays that, you know, that's good enough there. And then this is warmer. Dark was dark and it was, you know, cool. If I brush on it horizontally, it has a different look than if I do it vertically. Right. It'll catch more light. Consequently, it'll make you know it'll make that area lighter, but you'll also get some glare. So uh, <clears throat> you want to you know practice with the way you 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 know put paint down because <clears throat> it has different qualities depending on what what the way that you. The direction that you apply it and how you apply it. And it can be a lot said for a brush pressure itself. Because you can, you got a whole range of pressures back and forth this way. And each <coughs> one will make, you know, make um, a difference or, or look differently after it's been applied. Thank you. 